Have you ever wondered why a tiny spray can suddenly make it easier to breathe when you're completely stuffed up? Whether it's allergies, a cold, or just dry air, that clogged feeling can take over your whole day. Messing with your sleep, energy, even how food tastes. But relief might be as simple as a nasal spray. These small, often overlooked remedies work in surprisingly effective ways. Let's take a closer look at how nasal spray works and why choosing the right one makes all the difference right here on History of Simple Things. Before we get into nasal sprays, it helps to know why congestion happens. Inside your nose are tiny blood vessels and mucus-producing cells. When you're sick, have allergies, or encounter irritants like smoke or dust, these tissues become inflamed, swell up, and produce more mucus to trap and flush out the problem. This response is protective. Your body is literally trying to shield you from harm. But the side effect is swelling and congestion, making it harder for air to pass through. That's why even a small amount of inflammation can make you feel completely stuffed up. Many people think nasal sprays are all the same, but there are different types for different causes of congestion. Saline sprays moisturize and clear out irritants. Decongestants quickly shrink swollen blood vessels. Steroids ease long-term inflammation. And antihistamines block allergy symptoms like sneezing. Picking the right one depends on what's actually causing your stuffy nose. Let's start with the mildest option, saline sprays. Imagine rinsing your face after a long day. It feels refreshing, right? Saline sprays do the same thing for your nasal passages. By delivering a gentle mist of salt water, they wash out dust, pollen, and even viruses sitting on the lining of your nose. They also help loosen thick mucus making it easier to blow your nose without straining. And because they don't contain medication, they're safe to use frequently, even for children or pregnant women. Doctors often recommend them as a first line of defense because they hydrate the nose and create a cleaner environment for natural healing. Then there are decongestant sprays, which are kind of the emergency rescue team. These sprays contain active ingredients like oxymetazoline or phenylephrine. Once sprayed into the nose, they work within minutes to constrict the tiny blood vessels that have become swollen. But here's the catch. They're not meant for long-term use. If you use them more than three days in a row, you might develop what's called rebound congestion, where your nose actually gets stuffier once the spray wears off. It's a frustrating cycle, so these sprays are best saved for short bursts, like when you really need to sleep or get through an important event. Steroid nasal sprays, on the other hand, are all about long-term management. Instead of shrinking blood vessels, they calm the overactive immune response that causes inflammation in the first place. They're especially effective for people with seasonal allergies, chronic sinusitis, or nasal polyps. Unlike decongestants, steroid sprays don't provide instant relief. You might need a few days of consistent use before noticing a difference, but the payoff is significant fewer flare-ups, and less irritation overall. And when used properly, they're safe for daily use under a doctor's guidance. Finally, we have antihistamine sprays designed specifically for allergy sufferers. When your body detects an allergen like pollen or pet dander, it releases histamines, chemicals that trigger sneezing, itching, and a runny nose. 
Antihistamine sprays block these histamines right at the source, reducing symptoms almost immediately. They're especially useful if allergies hit you suddenly, like when you step outside during high pollen season or visit a home with cats. Some people even combine them with steroid sprays for maximum relief, but always under medical advice. So what exactly happens inside your nose the moment you use a spray? It's surprisingly precise. The mist coats your nasal lining, delivering moisture or medication exactly where it's needed. Because the nose is full of tiny blood vessels, the medicine can act locally, right where the problem is, instead of circulating throughout your whole body. Nasal sprays often work faster than pills because they act directly on your nasal tissues, while pills have to go through your whole system first. But to get the best results, technique matters. Tilt your head slightly forward, close one nostril, and aim the spray toward the outer wall of your nose, not straight up, to avoid dripping, and make sure the medicine coats your nasal passages evenly. And remember, less is often more. Overusing certain sprays, especially decongestants, can cause dryness, irritation, or rebound congestion. Always follow the instructions on the label or your doctor's advice. Nasal sprays help with everyday congestion, but are especially useful for chronic issues. Allergy sufferers may use them daily. Parents turn to saline for sick kids, and post-surgery patients rely on them for healing. They're more than just quick fixes. They're part of long-term airway care. But if symptoms last over 10 days, it's time to see a doctor. So next time you're feeling stuffed up, you'll know what's happening inside your nose and how that little bottle can make all the difference. After all, clearer airways mean better sleep, sharper focus, and a reminder of just how amazing a deep, easy breath can feel. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.